And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. And let's take a peek at this, and this thing is stopped dead here, and it's no path electric. So obviously, we missed, I missed, not we, I missed, a an area of electrification, which I'm not seeing, unless it's right at the very, yep, there it is. There, I should update now. And we should get this train moving. Wow, that was a whole, that was like three years of nothing moving on this, uh, for that train. That's unfortunate. But now we're, now we're moving again. That's good. Okay, let's look at replacing the big boy. We are in 1995. I think it's... I think it's time to get off steam, don't you? 1995? I don't know of any steam that was running in 1995. So let's do a replace. Uh, we're going to do a green. And this is food. So we want to run this stuff as fast as possible. 125 miles an hour. Uh, or 124. This is a pretty profitable line. So I think I'm going to do the more expensive model for now and then we're gonna set up food one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I'm gonna set up twelve of these and I'm gonna do yes 25 percent and this one's already done but he will replace anyway so unfortunately we have to replace him as well but then they'll be all the same age which is going to be good. Look at the food now. Massive, massive amount of food now that we're delivering more cows. And here we go for our inaugural, inaugural event here. This should fill up. Oh, yeah. Easily. This thing is processing massive amounts of cows for us now. And this guy is Columbus food. Nice. Columbus food has plenty in it. So we're, we're already delivering to four different cities with this. So I don't think we'll be able to deliver any more. Because if you can see, we're, we're using pretty much everything that we're giving it. So he, this guy is brand new. This guy is brand new. This is the last one to upgrade. Ooh, this guy is looking pretty old as well. 47 years old on that. This is St. Louis food. Uh, let's pause. And we're going to replace, because there's only one of them. I'm going to set a new vehicle, and he's going to be like a dark green, it looks like. And we're going to add him. And food, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, twenty-five percent. Yes, he should upgrade now. Okay, hundred percent. No. Now we'll be able to move even more food to St. Louis, which is good. Where's our other? Okay, we've got some more cows coming in. Good, good, good. Who is this guy? Oh, this is our last steam to upgrade here. Last big boy, I think. No, we got we got a few other steam engines around. I'm pretty sure. But now that this is done, I can set no 100%. And we just cleaned that station out like crazy well he did not have actually many cows on him interesting how's our cow farm doing over here okay this thing it is it is going up it, it takes a little bit but it is going up 
You know, it takes a couple of years for that to build up enough where those trains are really full every time they come through. Uh, and it looks like these I really need to upgrade. But they're not really old enough to do that yet. We're going to set it to blue. And you can see here, you know, here's the Peterbilt capacity 19, capacity 20. And then what I did is the Freightliner can do 50. And that is kind of where I leave it. So you are, yes, 100%. So maybe 25% for a little bit. See if, see if any of them upgrade. Would really help. Would also help if so many passengers or so many pedestrians weren't walking by here. That really strength put a, puts a stranglehold on my on my thing here. So we're not quite at the level of upgrading that yet, unfortunately. But once we are, we'll be able to move a massive amount of material, and that will help kind of upgrade the system to show the show the industry that yes, we can indeed move this much material. And you can see we've got I actually got a little bit of surplus over here, which is good. Look at that. Oof. That's just amazing how fast that goes. Now for construction materials again with Nashville, I think is now oh yeah, both Nashville and St. Louis are could use for an upgrade. That would be very difficult to do, though. These are four years old, so these are quite a ways away from upgrading. I haven't really... Uh, oh, we, we do have a little bit of growth over here. It's like it just spawned in. Let's... Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to run a, a rail around here. So let's see. That's not what I wanted. I wanted like to do this. No, see, I didn't want that either. There we go. And then straight across. I said straight across. There we go. One building remo be removed. That's OK. We don't mind one building to be removed. And then straight across here, we'll connect these two up and make it a little bit more desirable, I guess, is what you want to say about that. Oh, what do we get? There's my, oh, oh, it's go time now. Oh, yeah. I didn't think that unlocked in 96. I thought it was like 2011. But that little engine, that's the little engine that could right there. That is my late game engine. Boeing, yeah, 199 miles an hour, 34,000 uh, horsepower, 2,200 kilonewtons of tractive effort, running cost 400K. Um, it is a late game just mass mover of materials uh, you can just move stuff really fast but uh, I think all of the trains all of the trains that I could use it on are uh, have been just upgraded so it'll be be a few years before I'm able to do that unfortunately now, maybe some of these other systems will work out well um, how many people Indy, Philadelphia, Indianapolis to Detroit. So my Philadelphia line is actually doing pretty, pretty well. Look at that. How the finances on these? These are doing pretty good. Wait till I get the flirt going. Oh, these cities are going to react so quickly to that that flirt model, moving moving people. Uh, 
just by the hundreds, by the thousands even. So that is kind of a long-term goal. Uh, let's uh, improve if we can the layout here just to give us yeah see why do you why do you insist on going curves I don't understand there we go there we go just like that all of this is captured by this station so you should uh, you should really want to use this to the full effect okay Looks like iron is doing pretty well. Steel is... Oh, we got some serious planks going on here. Fur, finally, some planks. We just had some steel being delivered. Look at that. We've got machines actually in production, which is crazy. This thing just needs to unload. That's a lot of planks. And we've got no ships over here. Because <laughs> they're all sitting right here. Oh, Lord. So how would I... If I ran rail, how would I do that? That would be... If I ran rail through here, I could easily go right through Buffalo... Um, round out right in through here, but getting into here would be a problem. I would have to put a station right out here and then try to round those over this, this shorter channel here. Cause this, this is bridgeable and you know, kind of in real life, I'm not sure how wide this is in real life, but uh, it's much more bridgeable than the op open water out here, which I know is huge, crazy big. Um, and if I remember right, Niagara Falls is somewhere over here. It might be over here, but I don't know. For some reason, I think it's over here. No, it's in New York. So it might be over here. Well, now that we got this production, now we got a little bit more machines rolling through now, which is good. A little bit more steel. I wish it wouldn't use planks for tools. Because it can use steel or planks. So it's like, I don't know, there's really no way of controlling it unless you have plastic. So there's some more steel. And this one is now rolling in. And these should bypass all of those, except for that one. That one won't. Oh, it's oh, so annoying. Okay, so if I were to deliver planks and steel by, tr by train, how would I go about? Look at the planks sitting here. Good Lord. Because that is quite the trek. I could add a, another set of lumber and steel mill or a sawmill up in Canada here. Uh, Pittsburgh, though, and Cleveland, this area is definitely steel country. So I want to keep the steel factory here. Oh, decisions. See, and there's only 150 steel waiting for me here. So it's really planks that I'm in need of moving vast quantities of. At least it's given me over a million dollars of delivery for those. But what are the running costs? Oh, 383,000. That's not too bad. So one delivery a year, maybe one delivery a year. That's the thing with these things is 
Oh, it's so hard to. So hard to time, you know, how many deliveries each boat can do in a year. I'm thinking it's one every, maybe every other year, because it takes so long for it to float back down here. Um, so I am thinking, if I really wanted to, uh, let's do two, 240 high speed, round it out this way. I just, I'm just going to ravage Buffalo. Buffalo will no longer exist when I get done with this. Okay, so if I want to point this in a useful direction, I'm going to go like here. Get it upgradable eventually if I really want it. Now the tough part is where can I connect into this system and still be in range? And that is the, that is the problem. Uh, let's see. Because if I'm going to go across this, if I'm going to bridge across this, go across this, bridge, like come up here, bridge across this, and then somehow route it up in into here, I'm going to have to take that out, first of all. Sawmill, yeah, try to ship more items. No kidding. Okay, so I want six on this platform. I'm going to swing that all the way around. And I'm going to put it just like that. And let's see if I can squeeze. Oh, there we go. Squeeze the road through. Whoa, ho, ho. What are you doing? What is going on here with that? I did not get that at all. Okay, so we still connected up. So the people of good old Detroit can come and work at their machine shop. And we are able to deliver, possibly. We're going to have to do some, some serious bridge action over this, over this water. So instead of going, we're going to go up with it. Like that. So all of these are going to go straight up. Because I know we're going to need to put a bridge over this. And that bridge is going to have to be quite substantial to swing over all of this. So I want that, want that to get some elevation right away. And then we're going to go, we're going to cut right through Buffalo. Sorry, Buffalo, but uh, you're kind of in the way. So... I want to eventually possibly have two lines on this run alone. So if I take this here and I route it around like that. Okay, so we're still passable. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's still passable and which okay I'm on the inside one there uh, I kind of want to bring that a little tighter but before I do let's see if I can't split yeah see since we're going uphill it's going to be tough to split that off. Really tough. I can do it here, but as soon as I try to run this, it's going to it's going to say it's going to collide with something. 
So, how do I want to fix that? I had a good thing going there, and I'm not sure how I want to do this. I guess what I'm going to have to do... I'm going to go out a little bit more. I'm going to do an even, like that. And then the same with this. And then this. Oh. The Volvo 5000. So, can I duplicate out like this? I can. Okay, not not quite what I was thinking. Out like that. Out like that. Okay. That's the beginnings. We will uh, continue this process uh, next episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.